right guys, I told you all we were gonna do chili today and that's what I'm doing. So I've got my ground beef ready and I've already drained my grease and I do chili seasoning. It don't matter, you use whatever you wanna use. I put it in there and then I put water. I fill up the packet with water, put it in here. Stir that around. Now oh, that smells like chili. So I'll do that, and now I'm gonna cut in some onions. I do a real simple chili. Karen, uh, my sister, y'all all know Karen. Little care care. She puts Rotel in her chili, and I love it, but I don't make mine that way. That way, when I have hers, it's special. I'm sure y'all can hear the TV in the background. David's home. Today's his day off. And he just took the dogs for a walk, and I fixed him a egg in a basket. So he's good for a little while. So I'm fixing food for him for when I go on my little trip this week. Not everybody saw my video yesterday. But that's what I was doing. I was fixing Pappy's food for while I'm gone. So I got my onion. And, and so uh, what I do it's real simple. So I've got my ground beef. It's all ground. I put my packet of chili seasoning. And let me tell you why I use a packet of chili seasoning. Because my mom always made chili. And she would have a thing of McCormick's chili powder. And she would just put it in there. And she's never been able to tell me how much. And I don't know. So I trust when I use a packet of chili powder that that's the recommended amount, and a song good. So that's how I do it, and that's why I do it that way. Hi, guys. So I've got my brown bee. I use chili beans. I just, I get whatever's on sale. It doesn't matter. It's a bean. But I always get chili beans. It doesn't matter what brand. So I do that. Then I do diced tomatoes and then I do a can of tomato sauce so it's ground beef onion chili powder or chili seasoning your beans tomatoes and tomato sauce and that's my chili and I'll add a can of water and I'll let this simmer for probably about an hour or so. Then I'll put it in a nice bowl and cover it up, put it in the fridge, and he'll have it for this week. So he's got lasagna, he's got chili. All of this is easy for him to rewarm. And then I got too much ground beef. I've still got like this much left, so I'm going to make him a couple of cheeseburgers. All he'll have to do is warm those up. It's just easy, easy, I'm trying to make it easy for him. Um, <coughs> I'm trying to think what else I was going to make for him. This morning I fixed him an uh, egg in a basket. I don't know if y'all know what that is. I toast the bread, and then I take a biscuit cutter, cut a hole in the middle, put the uh, toast in my iron skillet and put an egg in the middle. It's an egg in a basket. He had a couple of those, so. Yeah, green chili is good. And desserts are gonna be on him. I got him ice cream. I got him uh, ice cream sandwiches. Um, so he'll have to take care of dessert himself. So. 
so far. I've got the uh, lasagna, the chili. Oh, and we had um, barbecue ribs this weekend. So I tore all that up and put it in a bowl. He could warm that up and put it on a bun. Barbecue sandwich. Boom. So he should be fixed for a while. So I think that we're done. And I'm, oh, and I've got this pot. It's a club. This is my soup, my bean, and my chili pot. And it's my club. Here's the lid. It's old, real old. My mom got me this, and she got it. Uh, I don't know where she got it. She didn't get it uh, new. And when we had our house fire in Paducah, my club was still in there. And girl, my sister and I, we made a trip to Paducah and went in there and found my club. I had to have it. This was a have to thing. And uh, I made sure I got all my iron skillets. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, ten iron skillets. And they mean a lot to me. So, uh, anyway, I'm going to clean up this iron skillet from what I fixed for Pappy this morning. And it's just an easy cleanup. I love my iron skillets. And I keep this one, I keep it on the stove all the time. And this is, I, this is what I use. I just wipe it out, wipe it clean, and it's ready to go. Uh, unless I do something really nasty, I don't have to put it in soapy water. I don't like to put my iron skillets in soapy water. I was watching Miss uh, Brenda Gant and how she cleaned her skillets. And she just took a, a Brillo pad, or not a Brillo pad, but a a stainless steel pad like this. This one won't rust or anything. And I've had this for a few months and I, I just keep it washed and um, I use this over and over. And this is what she uses to clean her iron skillets. I use, if it's bad, I'll put sea salt in it and, and wash it with that. Put a little water and, and wash it with that. But but we, uh, we use, I use an iron skillet all the time and I try to clean it here because it's hard for me to pick them up. They're heavy. Hi, Jamie. I love you too, girl. Yes, we love our iron skillets. Yep, that's what Miss Brenda Gant said to use. She said use hot water and stainless steel. And uh, you don't want to get the, <coughs> um, the Brillo pads and the SOS pads for this. You don't want that soapy stuff on there and they rust and everything these stainless steel pads they're fantastic and like I said this one I've got here I've had it I've had it out for a few months so so anyway uh, yeah that sea salt it's big and gritty and it gets in there and, and grabs a hope of stuff that's stuck on there and it'll grab that uh, rust off if you've got rust on it I've got one down here that needs attention and um, we'll do that one day when I get back from my trip. Uh, we'll see what works best, you know. But anyway, so I'm, I'm going on a little trip this week and I'm going to be gone for a few days and I don't want David to have to worry about food. He uh, is off today and he's off tomorrow and um, so I'm leaving tomorrow. So he'll, he'll be fine today, but tomorrow he's on his own. And uh, so I fixed lasagna last night, which we had some, and it was so good. It was delicious, and I made him some little casserole dishes for himself. All he has to do is put them in the microwave and heat them up. They're already cooked. And then I made him a pot of chili, and it's starting to boil up now. I wanted to get a, a little bowl going, and when it starts boiling, I'll turn it down, put the lid on it, let it sit for, uh, let it just simmer for about an hour, and it'll be really, really good. Um, this is always a quick fix, too. If you work <laughs> and you want chili, today's the first day of fall. Happy fall, y'all. Um, you know, the weather's starting to get a little cooler, and that chili's going to taste good to us. And uh, if you're in a hurry, chili is something you can make quick because the beans are already cooked. Um, and you cook your ground beef, you throw in your beans and your tomato, whatever you, you do, your base, and 
you're good to go. You can, you can have chili in 30 minutes. But I like to just slow cook. I slow cook everything. Let this slow cook a little bit, and then uh, she'll be good. And I'll let her cool down. I'll put her in a big bowl cover and stick it in the fridge, and happy I'll have it for this week. Uh, you'll have it a couple of times. And then I'm going to, I've got, like I said, I've got a lot of ground beef left. And I can't let this ruin, so I'm going to make him a couple of cheeseburgers. We might have a cheeseburger today. Um, so that's what we're going to do. And um, if I cook anything else today, I'll hop back on it and say, hey. And I appreciate all the good vibes I'm getting back from yesterday's video when I touched on politics just a tad. I don't want to talk about politics at all. I just wanted to say my piece about that and and say, you know, we've, we've all got to stick together and be there for each other and leave it off of here. Leave it off of mine anyway, because I just, I can't do it. I just cannot do it. Oh, and Denise, look at this apron I got. There's no ties or anything. I just put it over my head and put my arms through. Uh, you said you had RA too, so anything that we can do to help ourselves, that's what we have to do. And I found this cute little apron, and I like to wear an apron, but I have trouble putting my arms behind me and tying it or up, up here. And uh, so this one works real well. So thank you, Miss Bonnie. You're sweet too. Uh, I love you guys so much. Uh, please share my videos if you like them and like them. Um, I think that this is something I'm enjoying doing and it helps my RA. It keeps keeps this moving. I got to keep the brain moving. I got to keep busy and this is something I can do at home and um, I, I just really enjoy reaching out to you guys and making you laugh or whatever. I, I have a good time doing this and I enjoy cooking. Oh, I want to put my top on my, put the top on my chili and turn her on low. Let her rip, tater chip. <laughs> but anyway, I just uh, appreciate your uh, uh, coming on here and watching me and uh, it's a fun time. It's, it's a fun time to get our minds off of stuff that we just need to get away from for a little while. So I'm excited about my trip this week. Um, I'm going to go to Lexington and spend a few days with Rachel and Brad. I'm so excited about that. I've about got my bags packed. Pappy's not, I, I can't believe he's not unpacking my bags. <laughs> but anyway, I'm, uh, thank you, Ann. Ann Anners, you're the best. She started sharing my my videos from the very beginning and I really really appreciate you doing that because I think this is something I'm going to start doing. Rachel's going to sort of help me uh, get a YouTube page going. I just wanted to see if there was any interest in just doing plain old home cooking and making it easy for us. You know there's uh, really nice dishes out there that takes a lot of time and takes a lot of uh, energy and I don't have that. So I have to do what's easiest for me. And sometimes the easy uh, dishes are the best. Uh, so this is, you know, mom, she would work till five o'clock at Baker and Hickman and come home and, and by six o'clock, I don't know how, by six, 6.30, she would have a full spread on the table. It, it just, it, it was beyond me how she was able to do that. But she did and she taught us that, you know, simplicity, was sometimes best uh, when other teenagers were going out for pizza mama was making homemade pizzas for us and some of you all uh, got to endure that you got to enjoy it I know Ann Whitfield did and Kim Wheeler Jamie Qualls Barrett Rudd Jill Jones uh, Sarah Hewlett a bunch of you guys got to go over to mom's and have her homemade pizza a lot of you got to have a lot of her food and so I'm just trying to go off of what I learned from her what she taught us and um, I just make my meals as simple as I can but tasty and um, 
I guess that's it for today. And I love you guys, and I'm going to get busy and uh, get my bags packed, get the laundry done, and make sure everything is is uh, good for for Paps before I go. So you all have a lovely, lovely day. Uh, smile at somebody. Do something nice for somebody. Um, go on Facebook and say something nice to somebody. Um, that's what we're supposed to do. So.